Currently, our skater has gravity, velocity, both in the X and Y coordinate. Uh, they also have some level of friction uh, on the ground. And she's not passing through the platforms on the right-hand side, but she's getting stuck when gravity is applied. Uh, and she encounters the ledge. So she's kind of like Spider-Man right now. And she has this cling ability, which we don't actually want. Uh, we don't want her to be Spider-Man. We want her to actually drop down with gravity. In order to have her drop down, she's getting stuck because the collision point, uh, it might be only one pixel different between the in this case, 389 and 390 in this example. Uh, but she, it's enough for her to still get stuck. She's hanging on by one pixel. And so, so since she's not Spider-Man, we're gonna check to see if these two points are very close together. And if so, then we're gonna apply velocity. When she encounters an object, so on the on collision method, which is built into flame, we have a list of intersection points. We have one set of intersection points for when she's on the ground. And when she's on the ground, the, the two Y coordinates, because she's flat, right, are going to be very close together. If she hits it on a, uh, the sideways, the intersection points of the x coordinate are going to be uh, very similar. So let's first store the two x coordinates of the intersection points in a variable. So we'll call it x1 and x2. So this is the x coordinate, so it's her side to side where she collided with the ground. And remember, she's climbing with the ground on a sideways, right? So she's hitting it usually when she jumps and that's when she's getting stuck or, or, or she's just dropping down from gravity. So we're gonna check the difference between X1 and X2 and we're gonna get the absolute value so that you know it's not negative. So that dot ABS is built into Dart. It just, just gets the absolute value which means that the number is always gonna be positive. So if the x1 and x2 are within two pixels of each other, we're going to apply uh, velocity uh, in this case and have her drop down. We're going to push her down. Um, this step may not be necessary because um, I think if you put an else statement here uh, and you only apply the uh, velocity y to zero, when the points aren't that close together, it would accomplish the same thing. However, in our learning journey here, we'll, uh, we'll check to see uh, how close it is. And okay, I need to get better at manipulating the game. So we really need that else statement. Uh, we're only gonna set the velocity to y if she's flat on the ground. And we know that she's flat on the ground if the x and the y, the x is a little bit further apart, right? It's going to be about as far apart as her width. Whoa, okay, it might be working now. Okay, very good, very good. The game is getting a lot more playable at this stage. Boom. And it's actually kind of difficult for me to play it, but I don't have regular reflexes. All right, congratulations, fantastic. At this stage, we're gonna stop the video and in the future videos, we'll start adjusting um, other things about her, uh, the gravity, the speed, uh, X, you know, the left and right bounds. Uh, I think she still does get stuck sometimes. And so we'll continue to debug the game and look for edge conditions where she's not uh, she, she's not uh, reacting as how we think she should. One of the things that we we're, we're going to fix is that you can actually force her to go through the platform from the side 
if you keep pressing the right button, for example. But we can correct this in the next video. So it's kind of playable right now. So maybe have some fun. Make your own characters. Oh, she's stuck again. Uh, we'll fix that in the future. And have a great day. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.